Hello everyone, this is Sai Krishna in love with marketing. Now today we are going to talk about ABBA, account based advertising. Now don't call it ABBA, just for the sake of trying to add some humor, I tried it, but you don't please try that. Account based advertising is basically advertising to specific accounts, accounts as in your target companies, the companies that you are trying to get as your customers and you want to advertise to those particular companies, to those particular decision makers or key stakeholders that you interact with. And how do you identify them? How do you reach them? What kind of messages do you, you know, put in your advertisement and everything? This is what account-based advertising talks about. Now, we have six steps to understand the entire process of account-based advertising. The very first step is about identifying accounts. Let's say you already have few accounts that uh, you know that these are very important accounts then you consider these are the accounts that have to be part of your target accounts. And the second part could be uh, your ICP, ideal customer profile and then based upon the kind of resources that you have, uh, tools like uh, intent data or uh, tools which talk about the technographics, based upon these tools you can design a criteria to define that these are our target accounts. And once you have the list of your target accounts, we move on to the second step, which is nothing but identifying the key stakeholders of all these accounts. We usually try to get at least six to 10 contacts for each and every account. And these kind of people, would, the people in these uh, key stakeholders could be, uh, you know, buyers or decision makers or influencers or door openers. Okay, so we try to identify all these key stakeholders as well. Uh, sometimes you will bank on your CRM, which is your first party data that you already have. Hey boss, I have these people. I know that these are the people in this organization, uh, which you will be able to find out in the CRM. Okay. And the second way is that you don't know who are the people, key stakeholders in these companies. Then you try to bank on your ICP or the buyer persona's profile. Based upon that, you will try to identify the key stakeholders. Now, the third step is about account segmentation let's say you got 200 accounts now you you have to segment you have to bucket them into uh, certain segments how many segments how many uh, buckets have to be designed it depends upon your ability of uh, personalizing your content which we are which we are going to talk in the fifth step but here Account segmentation can happen in multiple ways. Uh, it could be based upon industry. It could be based upon, you know, uh, some techno technological system that companies are using, geography or, uh, uh, or be it uh, intent that they have shown, you know, uh, the kind of intent topic that they are carrying or any major events like acquisition, funding or even leadership change. So you decide or the stage of the you know organization's journey in the buying cycle you decide uh, based upon what parameter or a combination of parameters you will define the segmentation this you know how do you bucket them the reason of bucketing them is to make sure that you are you will be able to create personalized value uh, in your communication that's the reason you have to bucket them because you can't talk the same language to each and every industry to each and every profile uh, at each and every for each and every business model or scale there are so many you know varieties that uh, variety of uh, communications that have to happen for different people right so you have to segment your accounts and then once you segment, you have to, you know, uh, approach them, right? How do you reach them? How do you reach your target accounts or target key stakeholders? Is that there are two major activities, pre-targeting and retargeting. We, we have to understand um, the, the journey of a customer is through certain processes, right? Right from awareness to reputation to, you know, consideration to, uh, and then buying to advocacy. We have different stages of the customer journey, isn't it? So keeping this in mind, we need to make sure that the very top of the funnel, the very first stage, you know, pre-targeting will help us. Pre-targeting as in making sure that those people are aware of our brand or aware of our services okay so when you have these uh, you know defined all these accounts these people in these accounts your first goal would be making sure that they know your brand they know your basic services and products and retargeting is about people who have already visited your website you know based upon certain activities they have done you can you know 
uh, advertise to them based upon their activities on your website that is retargeting and the kind of platforms that one would be using is a social media programmatic and also email programmatic has got its own challenges uh, with the kind of quality of the advertising and uh, also you know ad fraud is one of the problems with programmatic but when it comes to social media probably if it is b2b you would be more looking into platforms like linkedin uh, but also Instagram, these kind of social media are also playing a major role. We we don't have to assume that you know these B two B by income type people only exist on professional uh, social media like LinkedIn, but we can definitely look at uh, platforms like Instagram as well. And then we go to the step five of personalization that we are talking in account segmentation, right? So how do you personalize? You know, the very first step that someone would do is that you. take all the content that you have currently look at the content repository that you have uh, what kind of use cases what kind of uh, case studies it is come what kind of white papers or emails blog articles or everything once you have an idea on your entire content repository and you would also know with your resources of content team you know that you can design content of specific type of content for specific people based upon that you design the uh, you know parameters or criteria where you actually embed your personalization to the accounts that you have segmented what kind of personalization will you be able to do will you be able to do at an industry level personalization or will you be able to do at persona level uh, uh, personalization or will you be able to do at a geography level personalization it is something that is relevant geography to your uh, domain or are you going to talk about in terms of technographics so you decide on what is the most critical parameter that distinguishes the uh, accounts in your uh, in your target list and then based upon that you can decide on the parameters that you need to focus in terms of personalization and then the last one is all about your budget the budget of your uh, account based advertising depends upon the number of accounts that you are focusing on number of contacts that each account has and the length of the you know your abm program or even the type of abm program that you are focusing on based upon that you can adjust your uh, budgets as well